and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to ask the question, would you ride in conditions like this? This is snow and ice on the road, primarily ice from the storm we just had. And today we actually have sunshine. It's currently 26 degrees as I record this video. And the wind is making it feel like 13 degrees. And I'm just wanting to know, would you ride in this? Or am I just simply crazy? I'm on the Lyric Graffiti, in case you didn't know, and it's nice and sunny out, but it's not warm out, and uh, as you can see here, the roads in my area do not get plowed, sanded, salted, or anything. Uh, as you can see, you just kind of like fend for yourself. If you are willing to brave it, you go out in either your car or... In my case, I'm going out on my electric bike. And I definitely know it's doable because I've done it before. But the trick is to just take it easy. You know, this is not the time to be trying to ride 30 miles an hour or anything like that. If you take it easy and you're not in a rush to get somewhere, you can do it. But it's totally understandable why most people, almost everyone except for a few brave souls like myself, would be out in something like this. Um, you can't really tell on this video, but, but I can tell you that On top of this snow that you see, there's a little bit of snow there, but most of that is ice. And you can hear it crunching. And I think having that little bit of snow in there helps because I think I get a little more traction. If, it was, if this was just straight freezing rain that came down, and ice that way, I think chances are I'd be uh, sliding all over the place, but the fact that there's a little bit of snow mixed in uh, makes it so you can get some traction. And if you see me, the bike uh, shaking a lot, that's just because of the tire tracks that are in the snow and ice. And I've got layers of clothing on, so I'm not cold. And the wind today is definitely not as bad as it was yesterday and the day before. So it's getting a little bit better that way. Although, if you can believe it, we have, we're currently under a ice storm warning they're warning us ahead for tomorrow I guess we're going to start out getting snow and then we're going to transition over to freezing rain so they've issued for my area here already an ice warning so and wind we have also a wind advisory right now so we're going to have strong winds as well uh, for t starting at midnight tonight it's, I think it's midnight tonight Anyway, there's a wind, <laughs> there's a wind advisory that's going to change to a warning. I, you can uh, soon. This might be a good spot to even stop for a moment and just show you. So if I pan the camera down to my feet, check this out. That is all just solid ice. 
I got glaze of ice over top of that snow. A little bit of snow that most of what you see, and you can see the sun shining off of it, that's just uh, glazes of ice. But the bike is doing uh, amazingly well. So, uh, but I know that I can do it because I've done it before, but you just gotta take it easy. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll see uh, what happens with the freezing rain. It may get to the point where I just don't come out at all, but we'll see how adventurous I feel. Today uh, is fine. This is okay. If you uh, want to make a comment on the video and tell me how crazy I am, if you think I'm crazy, go ahead and do that in the comments section. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and support the channel. And uh, we thank you for doing that. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And I am going to wait on this truck before I venture across in my turn here. He's going there too, so I just don't want to slip and fall and have the truck run me over, so I'll do this. Checking out some of the streets here. As you can see, snow packed or ice packed. And sometimes, and I've said this before, I don't think the camera does justice. I think seeing it in person here with my own eyes, I can see better that it's actually worse probably than the camera even shows. But. But uh, hey, if you've got a comment though that you ride as well under these type of conditions, let me know uh, how you do in conditions like this. And also maybe let us know what bike you're riding. And if you got any special, like are you using studded tires or any kind of chains or something like that? Because I don't have anything. I'm just going with the stock tires that were on the bike when I got it and that's so that's where I'm at with the bike there's some kids over there playing on the road is very rare here that you can get your sled out and have some fun because it doesn't happen that often One thing this, uh, the sun does is brightens everything up on this snow and ice, that's for sure. So uh, you definitely want to wear some kind of sunglasses if you're out in this because you'll get snow blind looking at this. I see lots of cars parked but not too many are driving around. You know, I don't think it's all that much worse than taking your car out because you get the same kind of stuff to deal with. It's exact same, right? Except for you are sheltered in the car to protect you from the cold. So you get heat in your car and you get nothing on the bike. But other than that, We just take it easy and uh, I'm not sliding around at all actually, I got pretty good traction.
I can sure feel the wind now though over this way I can hear some wind chimes going as well You know, earlier I was on that one road before I made the turn left into here and there's a bike lane but you saw myself riding on the road because it was bare patch from the tire tracks and the heat of the cars and so I took that and as far as the bike lane in conditions like this you can't even see the bike lane so it's always tricky if you're riding in the bike lane and you can't see the line the snow and ice is covering up any debris that might be under there so the chances of running over stuff and you can't even dodge it because you can't see it and know that it's even there to begin with very bumpy here all right well that's going to conclude this video i hope you enjoyed the winter ride if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button and also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on the video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, see ya.